You're 16 and you're driving down the road, listening to your jams. You're having a good time, when all of a sudden you hear a loud bang, followed by your car shaking. You slowly press on the brakes, turn your hazard lights on, and head to the side of the road. But now you're faced with a problem. You have a flat tire. Things don't get any better. Your mom is out of town, your dad is at work. You could motion people for help, but people are scary, and your mom said not to talk to strangers. In desperation, you look in your trunk. However, you find these foreign looking objects in a spare tire. What do you do now? Hi, my name is Miles Moore. And I'm James Jones. Today, we're going to teach you how to change a flat tire. However, before diving in, we'll need to go over the equipment you need. You'll need a car jack, a lug wrench, a spare tire, and your owner's manual. Now that you've collected your items, let's go over the steps of how to change a flat tire. Step 1. Find a safe, sturdy, flat surface to park. Step 2. Secure your vehicle. Step 3. Grab your tools. Step 4. Remove hubcap if you have one. Step 5. Loosen lug nuts. Step 6. Refer to owner's manual for your car jack placements. Step 7. Jack your car up. Step 8. Remove lug nuts. Step 9. Remove flat tire. Step 10. Place spare tire on. Step 11. Apply lug nuts with hands. Step 12. Lower vehicle with jack to the ground. Step 13. Remove jack. Step 14. Tighten lug nuts with lug wrench. Step 15. Clean your area. Step 16. Drive to the nearest service station. Now let's begin. Step 1. You want to find a safe and sturdy place to park. The place needs to be flat with absolutely no hills and a good separation from the road. Step 2. Secure the car. When changing a flat, you don't want your car rolling away from you. In order to stop that from happening, you'll need to do the following. Put your parking brake on, put your emergency brake on, and if you have a manual transmission, put the gear in reverse. Step 3. Grab the tools. Make sure you have everything listed from the materials list stated previously. Step 4. Remove your hubcap if you have one. Step 5. Loosen lug nuts. To loosen your lug nuts, you'll need your lug wrench. Place your lug wrench on each lug nut and rotate counterclockwise until loose enough to twist freely. Repeat step for each lug nut. Step 6. Refer to your owner's manual for jack placements. There are certain spots on your car for the jack to go into. Make sure to look for them and be sure that you know where they are, or else you could damage your car. Step 7. Jack your car up. Set your jack in the proper place and get ready to jack. Make sure that you are not anywhere under the car. Get your hand crank and turn it clockwise to lift the car up. Lift the car up until the tire is about an inch off the ground. Step 8. Remove lug nuts. The lug nuts are loose at this point so you can just take them off by hand. Remember, righty tidy, lefty loosey. Once the lug nuts are removed, make sure to put them in a place they won't get lost. Step nine, remove flat tire. Gently remove the tire and place it in your trunk. Step 10, place the spare tire on. Just place the spare tire as shown. Step 11, apply the lug nuts on by hand. Once the spare tire is on, Take your lug nuts and tighten them on until you can't tighten them by hand anymore. Remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Step 12. Lower vehicle to the ground. Take your hand crank and move it counterclockwise to lower the vehicle. Lower vehicle until you can't lower it anymore. Step 13. Remove jack carefully. Step 14. Tighten lug nuts with lug wrench. Rotate the lug wrench clockwise. Make sure the lug nuts are tight, but not too tight. Step 15. Clean your area. Make sure to gather your equipment and leave your spot like you never touched it. Step 16. Drive to the nearest service station. The spare will only last you so far, so make sure you drive carefully and safe. Now that you're squared away, you can go back to listening to your tunes and being a carefree teenager. Thanks for watching.
Thank <laughs> you.